Welcome to Soup Up Recipes. I'm Mandy. Today we are making Tang Yuan, gluten's rice ball with sesame filling. It is a ceremony dessert that is served during Lantern Festival. Let's get started by making the filling first. You will need some toasted sesame seeds. You can buy it pre-roasted. Mine is raw, so I place it in a baking pan and bake it in a 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 12 minutes. Let it cool completely. Put the sesame seeds into a blender along with 50 grams of granulated sugar. Blend this as fine as you can because we want the final result to be smooth and fluent. Sesame seed will produce oil as you are grinding it, which makes it stick to the side of the blender. You will have to use a spatula to scrape it down and help to even it out. Put it into a bowl along with 75 grams of unsalted and melted butter. If you want to make this vegan, you can use coconut oil. Continue by adding 45 grams of honey. Honey acts not only as a sweetener, but also it will bind the filling together so it is easier to roll into balls later. Mix this really well until there's no lumps. Right now, the filling is very liquidy, which is impossible to portion it out. You have to stick it into the freezer, uncovered, and chill for 30 minutes, or until it is semi-frozen. Here's my trick to portion out the filling. Get a small round measuring spoon. I'm using the three quarter teaspoon, which is the perfect size. If you don't have this measuring spoon, you can use the half a teaspoon. You just have to scoop a lot more to get the right amount. Put it on the scale, zero it out. Dip it in water to prevent stickiness. Then use it to scoop the filling like how you scoop ice cream. It should naturally form into a ball. Put it on the scale again. Each one should be about 8 grams. The ball is not perfect. You have to roll it in between your hands to make it round and smooth. Always remember to wet the spoon in between each scoop and continue to do the next one. This reminds me the first time I made Tang Yuan. I was portioning the filling by hand. The butter gets soft really fast because my hands are warm. The sesame filling sticks all over my hands and the countertop. It was such a mess, and I was so frustrated. This spoon trick makes everything fast and easy. Make sure the balls don't touch each other, otherwise it will be hard to separate them once frozen. All right, pop them back into the freezer until they become rock hard, which will take about one hour. While waiting, we can make the wrapper Bring 160 grams of water to a boil, then pour it into 300 grams of gluten's rice flour. Mix this really well because you want to evenly distribute the cooked gluten's rice, so it will be easier to knead until smooth later. Continue by adding 75 grams of room temperature water in batches. Keep mixing at the same time. Then go in with your hand to knead it until a rough dough forms. Don't forget to scrape the bottom so you don't waste anything. Transfer it into a working surface. You only need a few minutes of kneading, then it will be nice and smooth. If you feel the dough gets sticky, you can sprinkle a little more gluten's rice flour. Look how beautiful that is. Let me show you the ductility. You can stretch it very long. Roll the dough into long, even locks.
then cut them into small, even pieces. This recipe is enough to make thirty to thirty-five tang yuan. You don't really need to scale them; just go with your eyes. Cover with a plastic wrap so they don't get dry. Take the filling out of the freezer. They are rock hard now. Grab a piece of the dough and shape it into a small bowl. Put the filling in. Use your thumb and your forefinger to squeeze around to push the wrapper up. When you get to the end, just pinch to close it. Roll the ball in between your hands until it is round and smooth. This is quite important because Tang Yuan is a symbol of a reunion. It carries our best wishes. If you feel like the filling gets too soft while you're wrapping, you can pop them back into the freezer for ten to fifteen minutes and continue to wrap them. Now comes to my favorite part, cooking the tang yuan. Bring three and a half cup of water to a boil. Drop in the glutinous rice balls. Carefully move the tang yuan so they don't stick to the bottom. Turn the heat to low and keep it at a slight simmer. Stir it once every thirty seconds. The filling is cooked already, so we're just cooking the wrapper. Don't ask me how long this gonna take, because as soon as the gluten's rice balls float on top of the water, they're cooked through. Quickly mix four tablespoons of gluten's rice flour and a quarter cup of water. Pour it into the pot to thicken up the soup. Add four to six tablespoons of rose jane as a sweetener. You can use honey, syrup, sugar, or even monk fruit extract. Rose jane will give a beautiful pink color to the soup, which makes a great presentation. Last is an optional ingredient: half cup of sweet rice wine. This is what I'm using, and yes, it is made with glutinous rice as well. You can even see the rice grains. The alcohol content is very low, and it tastes sweet, almost like a syrup. I normally don't drink wine, but this is an exception. It just gives me that hometown childhood touch. Of course, if you can't cook with alcohol, you can skip it and add a little bit more sweetener to adjust the taste. All right, let's give it a try. It is very smooth and gooey. The filling is so sweet and packed with nuttiness. This year, Valentine's Day is one day before the Lantern Festival. Tang Yuan will be something special that you can make for your love, because it is a blessing dessert. May all of us have a smooth and perfect life. You and your partner are sweet. And always stick together, just like these sticky rice dumplings. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, the printable recipe will be on my website, soupdumplingrecipes.com. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends and families. That really encouraged me to continue to make more delicious recipes. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.